only. And I'm with someone who's not intellectually stimulating, who's not good looking, and who's just kind of a jackass. It all begins now. Hey, everybody. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to a great day here at the Blind Date Studios. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple of terrific dates for you today, and I'm having one of those hair days that a host can only dream about. So let's take full advantage, shall we? And today we'll start by setting up April with Anthony. Now, April describes herself as energetic and friendly and says when it comes to guys, she likes a challenge. Well, she's going to get one today, trust me. Anthony's a club promoter from Puerto Rico who has no problem promoting himself. I'm down to earth, uh, I'm intellectual, uh, I'm in good shape, um, well off. I'm uh, independent. I can tell right away if I like someone, if we're hitting it off, if we have things in common. I like the ass, I like the weight. To... I'm not the one that's very aggressive. I do meet a lot of girls at the clubs that I go to, yes. Um, I'll say, I get like maybe anywhere from three to five numbers a night. Wow, I'm surprised he has time to be on the show. Go get him, Romeo. <laughs> Anthony, hi, I'm April. Hi, Ben, I'm Anthony. That's the craziest kink is that you can get around. You're not really a sexual person. No matter when I stand. Mm -hmm. hey, whose chest is bigger? Hold on. Ah! Nice to meet you. Nice Hello. So, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a designer. Oh, okay, definitely. And I'm also a student. What about you? Oh, I work on my own company. I do a promotion with my clothes. I used to do that. I'm like, so you want to get out of here? Yeah, let's go. All right, then. Mm -hmm. what's, like, what's like the craziest like encounter you've ever had, like in terms of, um, you know, in your life? Like, what's the craziest, kinkiest encounter you've ever had? Um, I don't know. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna play on the DL on that part. Right. How long does it take you to know if you're like into somebody or not, like in regards to time? Um. Because I know within like 45 minutes. You? I think it usually just depends. If I like, it depends. Usually it also depends on like things that I have in common with a person or like how well we get along because like usually sometimes what's can only go so far and I'm like, I don't know how long I can hang out with you <laughs> because I can't stand you anymore. It's just kind of like, uh, it kind of, okay. compatibility is also. So uh, you really yeah. like care about personality and like how well you like the chemistry is and how you get Yeah. Nick, it's a nice to meet you. You guys ready to go surfing today? Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Good. Okay. So if you guys want to get in some more comfortable gear, um, and also sunscreen is very important, so you might want to use some uh, banana boat sunscreen. Oh, okay. You're willing to go out in the water? I want to watch. You're going to no, watch? Go. Yeah, I'm going to watch. You have to go out in the water, man. I'm going to watch. I don't have the tire. We, we, have an, we have a wetsuit for you. No, I'm good. It'll fit you. I'm good. You'll look pro in it. I'll have to watch, to be honest with you. like my individuality, like my, just like who I want to be as a person, just kind of being perfect. Uh, Definitely. Just kind of like, like. One thing that you like to show off? Um, like something that you like, oh, you know, like, you know, you got like, you know. Well, I know I have long legs. Um, legs. Or, yeah, I guess. You ever had like a one-eye stand or? Um, no. You ever had a one-eye stand? Mm -hmm. You don't believe in that? Um, I just, I don't know, maybe if it happens, it happens, but I'm just kind of not really loose like that, and I kind of like, I don't know. Need to really like the person. Like, 
you're, you're not really a sexual person. You're I am a sexual person. It's I mean, just I don't need to talk about it because if I get some, I get some. It's not something I have to put out there because I'm confident and I know who I am and I know what I get and I know how sexually satisfied I am. What's the difference between your ribs and your chest? They're different in size? Whatever. Is it different in size? No. So no, if you I don't touch know anatomy. It'd be like touching your ribs. You would never be touching me. Mosquito bites. Well, whatever. You want to know? I don't want to know. Because if I did want to know, I wouldn't be playing this game. But I'm sure your package oh, oh. has nothing there. Oh, let's see. Whose chest is bigger? Hold on. Um, Whose chest is bigger? Yeah, but if Who's we want to, if we want to look at Who's size, just by hey. looking at your hands and your feet, you don't hey. have anything. You want to see it? That see that? Is that, that, your is that what you're all about? Attracted to me. You is see that what you're all about? You said you want to see. I don't want to see nothing you got to offer. Whatever. That's what you're all about. I see. I see. You know what? I'm not. I'm not ghetto like you, and I don't really have. I don't. I don't really want to argue with you, and I think this conversation is kind of pointless. Definitely. Because I just think you're, you're the one cussing. I just think you're ghetto. Ghetto. And I don't really ghetto. feel the need to like I'm ghetto. Yeah, you are kind of ghetto. ghetto. So what word? I just don't really the feel the need to you. talk to you or like make question. things better Why or you, shake? you know what? Meat on you, girl. Whatever. No, it's okay. It's unfortunate you have nothing to talk about. I'm bored because um, there's no on. chemistry here. Um, I'm with someone who's not intellectually stimulating, <laughs> who's not good looking, and who's just kind of a jackass. Is that right? Your manners suck. Your mannerism isn't well. You're not a gentleman. You don't present yourself well in public. I let you walk in front of me, didn't I? I need to be excused. Bye. And no, it's not a color really? thing. I just need to be excused. You know what? I recommend to get extensions. You know what? I don't, look like I, don't, I don't care about what you recommend. Like I just extensions work. need to go. Extensions, definitely. You know what? Maybe you should get your hair straightened because your um, hair looks like You're mad that my hair is longer than yours. Hello? What's up, sweetie? You know? I think that's the first date from hell that ended with his and her hair tips. Classic. And if you think that was bad, wait till you see what's on the way. Up next, just bring your wild side out. Forget what I said. Did this guy put his foot in his mouth? If there weren't like assault laws and stuff, I would slap your face. That's next. Blind Date is sending one lucky winner and their guest to attend Cabo Wabo's annual Sammy Hagar birthday bash this October. Here's to Cabo! For your chance to win, log on to blinddatetv.com. Here's something you don't see McDonald's doing, doubling their menu. But that's exactly what Subway Restaurants is doing. Now every sub they make, you can get toasted or untoasted. The choice is yours. Two of everything? This is going to be great, toasted or untoasted. Now that's great. Yeah, that's what I meant. You've always loved the great taste of our low-fat, savory turkey sub. Now try it fresh toasted with hot, bubbly cheese. Two Jared's? Uh, not so great. Subway, eat fresh. Zoom on into Rentway now and get what I said to you. So this is like so, like lame. It's like you tripped me out. And I thought that was psychotic, so no, I'm I like, like I you're see psycho, okay? I would never go out with anyone like you in my life. Okay. Okay, so we blew that one, but hopefully Veronica will have better luck with Brad. He's a sports writer who says when it comes to dating, he knows his limitations. I don't know, don't seem to get like the the model type, gorgeous women. I tend to go for the blondes, but I don't necessarily get them. I think women like that I'm uh, straightforward, sarcastic, uh, always willing to have fun. Right now, I don't have any goals. <laughs> I'd say I'm a couple rungs below the super stud. I am good in bed. I have uh, pretty good uh, in, in terms of uh, pleasing people. Well, then let's all hope Veronica turns out to be another satisfied customer. Good, how are you? Good, I'm Brad. I'm Veronica. 
Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. So, you look very nice. Thank you. I like your eyes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> what, uh, what do you do? What do I do? Yeah, you know. What do you... Oh, as little as possible. I'm stripping. <laughs> I'm practicing learning to be a photographer. And... I like the little as possible. I'm right there with you. Right on. What do you do? Um, pretty much, I try to do a lot of things. I'm a writer, too, sports writer. Really? Right on. Yeah. So I, uh, yeah, I enjoy sports, a lot of that kind of stuff. You like sports? I love sports. I like to gamble, though. Oh, you do? Yeah, I gamble a lot. I think we're going to get along. <laughs> Talk about whether you have hair on your chest or not. You prefer a hairless chest? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Hmm. We'll have to wax it. Is that something and that... put the wax on and <laughs> rip the hair out. <laughs> Did that hurt? In a good way, I think, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What does it taste? It tastes like apples. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking at you. Oh. Yeah, I'm like worried about my hair getting stuck in it. It still tastes like apples. Can I taste? Can I taste? Can I taste? Oh, for me? Yeah. I like apples. Did you get any? Not enough. <laughs> now I'm getting it. Did you taste it? I tasted your hair that time. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a romantic? Can you seduce me? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I picked up a guy and we took off in his car <clears throat> and we ended up doing it. And I looked at him and I said, Do you know I'm using you right now for sex? And he goes, He goes, I'm doing the same thing with you. <laughs> I mean, duh. So are you a stripper? 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 I have stripped. Why? I just, just got that feeling you might be one. We all know what you're capable of. What? I said we all know what you're capable of. I don't understand what you mean. You know, it's just strippers have a lot of one-night stands. 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 You know what? If there weren't like assault laws and stuff, I would slap your face. What's wrong with that comment? It was just a... I'm not a stripper. What are you? I tried to share that with you. The question is, what are you? Other than crass and rude. <laughs> it's a one night stand. You're leaving tomorrow. It's do or die. Well, then you're dead. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Well, 
Things certainly took a turn here. Must have been Brad's cheap and insensitive comments regarding strippers and one-night stands. That just wasn't fair. But trust me, Veronica, she'll get even next. Coming up. I think that you're rude and crass. It's love thoughts off our cutting room floor. I don't know where things went wrong, but I mean, uh... You're my... 5111. Hi, I'm an actual client of Pacific Law Center. As a professional business person, I was upset when I was wrongfully accused of a DUI. I knew I was innocent and wanted to hire the right attorney. I'm really glad I called Pacific Law Center. My case was resolved. Cleanse today. It's a one night stand. You're leaving tomorrow. It's do or die. Well, then you're dead. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. Oh, you can't beat a good death scene. Unless, of course, it's a scathing post-date wrap-up like this one. I almost slapped Brad's face because he was an insolent dork. It's a stripper mentality for Veronica. She doesn't really... Strippers are operate on a lower level than the rest of society. I could care less about what Brad thinks about me. I probably met the only porn star slash stripper who wanted a relationship in the world. Brad missed out on probably some of the most passionate lovemaking that he could have ever come into contact with in his entire life. I truly think Veronica did like my kissing. I so regret kissing Brad in the park. I do not want to see Veronica again at all. I took one picture of Brad with my digital camera and I am so going to delete it. Is anyone else frightened by this woman? Okay. All right, coming up, these two aren't through with each other just yet. Oh, no. Their little hate fest will continue next. On the next blind date... Do you like me yet? Because we've been on a date for like 15 minutes. Yeah, and that's so far you're good. Two second chance daters are on their way to romance. I have stand up my ass. I know. I've, I've seen a stripper, but never a wiper. Until she drops a bomb. That really sucks. Plus... So if they don't know how to treat a woman, then that's too bad for them. What every guy should know. If we don't like it, you won't get it. <laughs> that's next time. Let's get going. Okay. All right, awesome. On Blind Date. Wow, you like hit it. I know, weird. Are you okay? Well, I've got a fruit bud. What's a fruit buzz? It's, you know, you eat the new fruit walnut salad from McDonald's. Yeah. It's fresh apples and grapes, low-fat yogurt, sweet candied walnuts. It's so awesome. It just makes me feel like... Trying? I know. Weird. For breakfast, lunch, or just a snack, McDonald's new fruit and walnut salad. Get a fruit buzz. <laughs> Cattleman's. The world champion barbecue sauce. Now available to the public for the first time. Try to control yourself. When you know barbecue, you know cattlemen's. You like bath time, don't you? We're gonna get you nice and clean. Now, can you tell me how old you are? 22. Hmm. Yes, you are. How dirty boys get clean. New X shower gel. Real people just like you are changing their lives with a new career. You can, too. When I came by MicroSkills and saw their lab skill, it was just incredible. Let MicroSkills make a believer out of you. Those of you who are unsure what you want to do with your life, really, you should make the call. Check it out. This is a great school. Works for me. Placement here was fantastic. Now I'm on my second career. And since getting into the field of computers, I have doubled my income. Get qualified for over one million new computer jobs. Call 800-531-6634. Cowboy when people find out how much money they can save by doing the cowboy thing and switching to Eastwood Insurance, they can get a little carried away. Of course, with rates starting as low as $29 a month, this kind of enthusiasm is understandable, but not really necessary. So if you want to save big on your car insurance, call Eastwood Insurance at 1-800-468-LESS or visit us online at eastwoodinsurance.com. And uh, leave the cowboy into us. Eastwood.
Create your own future. Create your own look. You can do it all with a beauty career. Never have the opportunities been better for trained cosmetologists. Hairstyling, unlimited creativity, salon management, advancement opportunities, makeup and skin care, new possibilities, nail technology, real artistry. If you want more, you can do it with a beauty career. Phone Marinello Schools of Beauty at 800-648-3413. That's 800-648-3413 and get started. Recently, I needed some cash fast. I saw a commercial for Cash Call and called 866-590-CASH. $10,000 was in my account the next day. So, if you need cash, call 866-590-CASH. Join us in California Country, a weekly celebration of the people, places, and things that make the Golden State second to none. Sunday mornings at 9 on KSWB. Oh, no. What is she doing here? Who? You see that girl over there in the scrub? She always had her life together. Hey, Lisa, how are you doing? Still going to college and working here? You're already working? It seems like we just graduated. I know. I trained to be a medical assistant in no time at all. They even helped me get a job. Call Mary College for a brochure at 800-794-4433. That's 800-794-4433. You should call them. Hey, if you're going to be in the L.A. or New York area and would like to be on Blind Date, call us. There are millions surfing the web with Net Zero for less than 10 bucks a month. Are you one of them? If not, then it's time to switch to Net Zero. Join the millions. Go to NetZero.com. You don't have to hunt for the best deals on the Internet. Just follow that little arrow to Motel6.com. Bullseye. Each day, it's a fight with your feet. Now they're revolting. Fight back with Gold Bond Foot Cream. Its formula penetrates and helps heal dry, rough foot skin. Gold Bond. Closed captioning provided by... I love spots, just not age spots. So I use Palmer Skin Success Age Spot Serum, guaranteed to make your skin a success. Welcome back. Now, we all just watched Brad blow a sure thing with a former dancer named Veronica. And if you arrived late and missed part of it, relax. We're here for you. I don't know where things went wrong, but I mean, uh... Your mouth opened. That's where it went wrong, okay? I probably have more class in my fingernail than you do. I don't know. Remember, you're a stripper. That already that lowers your class down no, honey, pretty it's... low right away. I'm sorry. You're already on the wrong foot there. No, I'm not a stripper. I've been a porn star. Try that. All you got to do is lay down there and spread out. That's a porn star, right? I think that you're rude and crass. And that's my opinion of you right now as a fan. You look upset. And it will not change. Well, of course she's upset. I mean, a porn star is clearly a step up from a stripper. Everybody knows that. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge. I'm going to go ahead and go. Watch the frog. Right ahead on KSWB, it's more midday dating delights with a second helping of blind date. At five, put a smile on your face and back slowly away from the remote. It's friends, Malcolm, and everybody loves Raymond. This is showbiz. It's all going down tonight at five on KSWB. Watch the frog. San Diego's money mess. Which program city council may vote to cut? Tonight on San Diego's WB News at 10. Today on Blind Date. What kind of guys do you usually date?